uh, it's been a great journey for me because uh, i always been of dreaming of working in a product based company okay so i joined one of the conglomerate that is sony software technologies it was all around more than 800 companies which have applied all together that's happening because i remember the i approached many people in the month of november i didn't got even a response from them but suddenly they have pinged me by december end or january first week ki we have opening into this domain we have opening related to power bi so hi bakar how are you doing i'm doing great it's yes, an awesome course, day Paul. for me yes yes thank you so much for being here on our podcast uh, odin school is always always very honor to have uh, you with us so it's been a long journey that you've been with us and uh, in the end definitely is successful every story has a successful ending I'm pretty sure your story does too and that's why we have you here so uh, vakar uh, the most important part of today's podcast is getting to know this amazing successful person in front of us so can you tell something about yourself your your background little about your family anything that you wish our viewers would love to know okay uh, so first of all thank you so much for calling me for this podcast and uh, i've always been grateful for odin for uh, the value addition that has been in, in my life and uh, the best part uh, if we talk about myself as you already know my name my name is vakar ahmed uh, coming from my background i born and raised in a very beautiful city that is kolkata the city of joy i did my initial education and bachelor's in computer application from techno india salt lake okay it is one of the prestigious institute in the city and uh, there are something a uh, bit uh, which i want to talk about my family background as i belong from a lower middle class family i have always seen uh, there have always been certain crunches in my family and uh, the financial was always been there was a situation of hand to mouth and uh, i have always seen my father he struggled a lot to give the best what i uh, what i am up to now uh, so i always give all my life to my parents and uh, apart from that if i talk about the struggle uh, i believe that uh, this is this was never my struggle whatever my little bit of success or whatever thing i have achieved once i joined odin it all belong to my i dedicate that to my family especially my mom and dad uh, my father's name is mohammed ishaq and my mom's name is rehana banu because uh, they have supported me in the in the most toughest phase and the and the most uh, critical situation of my journey okay because it's always been difficult uh, uh, once i saw them uh, they have done lot of sacrifices for me and i believe i can make sure i'll do the best what i can do from now onwards from my side i'll give the best life to them wonderful uh, your parents must be so proud to have a wonderful son like you uh, vakar okay even i'm getting goosebumps as you're telling me all of this okay so first of all um, you know i would say salute to such wonderful parents and an amazing background that you have yes so i would like to know a little about uh, the current role the company that you got placed and the current role that you are in uh, something that you would like to tell the viewers about yeah so i'm uh, it's been a great journey for me because uh, i always been of dreaming of working in a product based company okay so i joined one of the conglomerate that is sony software technologies i am here in bangalore okay so they are having a data center as well as a software division office in the bangalore itself okay and uh, the best part of sony is uh, uh, i really like the culture of sony okay i still remember from my childhood i i was always been fascinating about the sony walkman as well as the sony gadgets there were certain uh, play stations and all that we used to go and play with a 1 rupee coin so uh, i have a very uh, childhood memories with the sony okay so i got a, a sony walkman also in one of my uh, birthday it's been very long okay and i still remember i, I though i couldn't afford to buy a playstation but i hopefully uh, sure i will buy a playstation very soon and talking about my uh, role over here i'm working in a core analytics team okay there is a division in sony regarding the core analytics and uh, the work environment is awesome and everybody is very much supportive over here i'm looking forward to 
uh, continue with the journey wonderful wonderful that's a such a nice childhood memory you know when we were young so sony was there all around us <laughs> and now you coming as you know i'm working part of sony that should be such a proud moment right yeah yeah i'm, I'm i really can feel what you're trying to say vakar that's very nice so vakar now sony one of the most known companies in the world okay so you have got through uh, sony and uh, you know odin school has helped you through the entire journey yeah. in getting into sony i would like to know what was your interview process like how did you get into sony what were the various rounds okay so uh, after the name got shortlisted i uh, there was all together three rounds were there so l1 round then l2 round then one of the managerial round was there so the first two round was completely it was a hardcore technical round okay where a maximum uh, student get uh, whether they go through it or whether they they get rejected so hopefully i i cleared or i actually i was fortunate enough to clear all the three rounds and uh, talking about the round it was very much about the technicalities they have deep dive on into all the aspects whether it's related to the core fundamentals of uh, data analytics that is the power bi or sql and uh, whether it's the uh, eda or the statistics and the foundation of ml as well so they have touched all the core concepts okay and moreover uh, they were not looking for a person who was actually having an encyclopedia of knowledge they were actually looking for a person who who can take things forward because when we talk about uh, data analytics uh, you can't say it's all about the knowledge which is driving us it's 50% of the knowledge that we which we which we carry and 50% is your presentation as as well as your communication skills as well as there is something called as a people skill which i believe the most important if you become a data analytics person whether you go for a, any any part power bi developer or a business analyst or a data analyst it is something which has to be there and there is nothing called as a 10 or 20% I, if i divide that that 50% should be a knowledge and 50% should completely on your people skill and probably that would be the best uh, mix of uh, getting through skill selling through amazing amazing so you told exactly what you know is needed in today's world yeah most of our viewers most of candidates you know not only in odin uh, even in colleges and people who are upskilling in workplaces they forget this people skill part they only focus on the skill they only focus on the knowledge and they keep asking why am i not getting a place or why am i not getting a job but the most important thing is people skill thank you so much for highlighting that vakar uh, so now you spoke told about you know the interview process and i'm pretty sure sony was in the first company that you applied for okay in odin school one of the most uh, you know one candidate who applied for most companies is you and uh, so i would like to know your journey of preparation how did you prepare for this interview and um, what was this new kind of strategy that you built for the preparation and uh, what was your motivation in the whole thing uh, so it was a very unforgettable journey for me okay because uh, i will there it was all around more than 800 companies which have applied all together okay for once i have started it was just from the period of i was about to finish the odin boot camp i think it was mid of october between the mid of october till the mid of january first week of january i have applied somewhere around more than 750 to 800 companies or even more than that it was on an average daily basis i was applying somewhere around 20 companies 30 companies like that so some day 10 company 20 companies so some or the other day i am applying okay and the best uh, thing which i believe it be a lot of people focus more on the just having a set of resume and just uh, are editing in every nuts and shell of that so hopefully uh, if we have a generic resume if we have a standardized portfolio probably that is enough you to sail through any of at, at the short, short listing process because see, ultimately i don't think uh, you should always target of getting an ats resume and then applying for a company because eventually there is no guarantee in that also that you will get shortlisted so the idea is to always be to reach the masses okay if we try to reach the masses probably there is always a law of average which works so hopefully in my case if i have applied 800 companies in that uh, around 17 or 18 companies shortlisted me for the interview i have sat for around 17 companies and in 17 companies 
by the time final uh, interview i got selected in two of the company wonderful so that was the thing yes so try to reach out to the maximum uh, number of recruiters and the best way to uh, reach out to them is not by just applying in the button okay i will, i today i have saw a job post so i will hit the apply button and probably things will get sorted out because see eventually you are not the only person who is applying for the job you should always see there is there are more than 10000 person who is applying for the same job every day we are getting hundred of job posts in linkedin but eventually the best strategy should be if you are applying through any kind of reference or any kind of networking because i myself i believe the maximum number of calls which i got it was from the networking and it was from the reference part eventually if you have invested dedicatedly minimum 2 to 3 months in linkedin that's how the real magic starts happening because i remember the i approached many people in the month of november i didn't got even a response from them but suddenly they have pinged me by december end or january first week Key. we have opening into this domain we have opening related to power bi so would you like to come you would you like to apply they have sent me the uh, career page of the company and i have applied through that and i have shortlisted so eventually your job is not to look out ki how many people are up, uh, how many people are responding on my messages eventually now also i sit for the interviews it doesn't matter whether i got the interview whether i have cracked the company or not i this week only have had two interviews the idea behind was not to get cleared through that interview the idea was that so that i get get more exposure so that i can help other people also because the more exposure i will get from the company side i will get to know ki what are the kind of questions and what are the expectations they are setting uh, to hire a candidate so that was okay. always been an idea behind great great work so you know what this is exactly what i also keep telling most of uh, uh, the candidates out there to keep practicing interviews whether it's real time or whether it is mock interviews or even an interview with a friend will help them doing it but you're doing a great job doing it in real okay and uh, these 800 companies that you mentioned i'm pretty sure that you know odin school helped you with a few but most of it is going to be yeah. your own personal effort Yes, so uh, that is an amazing thing. And uh, what what would you say? You know, opportunities are given from uh, Odin School. What how what would you say about putting your personal effort? What do you say about it? Uh, see, sir. First of all, I have always been grateful about Odin. Okay, because ultimately, uh, see, nobody can say whether this candidate will get selected or not. But I what the best part about the Odin, which I love, is the genuine effort. their intent behind every student that intent matters okay see we are not we are not somebody who is coming from a divine okay nobody can say ki that candidate will get selected or how many people will get selected but i really like the genuine effort in every step i still remember the time uh, from odin the support which i got like even if i'm having an interview tomorrow right i get connected so uh, with some of the people in odin and uh, somehow i try to get that maybe i can connect with any person to get any insights about the interview this is my jd how i can expect what kind of question so that was always been my last minute preparation i i always been connected i make sure that i connect with anybody from odin so that i can get something value add on what i have prepared so far so i always been grateful for that genuine effort of odin and uh, eventually uh, they have all, always been uh, i have applied for many companies from odin as well so they have always been supported me a lot during my entire journey so that's uh, i always recommend everyone whomsoever i speak uh, about the odin great great thank you so much uh, vakar for that so again i would just like to know again little more about odin there were a lot of things that you did in terms of uh, interviews preparations process so in the entire thing specifically can you tell how has odin school helped you in what ways whether processes how easy were they to follow and uh, what were the various one you mentioned is mock interviews were given so other than this what were the various steps and how was the process being with odin school um, you know beneficial through the entire placement process uh, the best part about odin is, is it's very they have a very structural approach okay and uh, from the starting only we we have actually been a part of a road map okay initially it was started from a fundamental of statistics 
then probably we have moved with the sql then python then eda then power bi and at last we have did machine learning okay so the whole i really like the whole structure of the curriculum because uh, maximum of the interview preparation got done there and then and there only because the kind of uh, questions we used to solve right in every we have certain task in every of the live classes so eventually if a person is going through that in a very uh, prepare he if he has prepared all those things very well probably half of the things for the interview will be then 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 and there only and as i told you about their effort right so they always been pushing me okay i always been connected with many of the odin people and they have always been one of the uh, what i will say like my coach i will not say they are like my teacher they are like my coach a coach is someone who always pushes you beyond your limits so they have always been very kind to me wonderful thank you so akar with all this wonderful experience and the growth that you've seen uh, what piece of advice a few words that you would like to say for two categories i would ask the first category what would you like to tell for our current odin grads who are pursuing their boot camp right now and also who are there in the placement pool what would you like to tell them okay <clears throat> so uh, first of all uh, i want to say to every aspirants okay no matter whether you are going any aspirant okay because i as you all know that the situation is uh, very uncertain for everyone nowadays right we all know about the situation and we all know that how uh, job market is reacting okay so the best thing which i will say uh, is every aspirant is delay will happen okay delay will delay will definitely happen but what you think during that delay what you do during that delay and what you speak during that delay will decide how long this delay will last so no matter what you do delay will definitely happen it can be a delay of one week it can be a delay of even one month or even two months that no one can say but probably what you can do is you can utilize it this delay so once everything will rebound right you can't complain about things eventually things are getting rebound and hopefully uh because if there is some certain uh, crisis or some situations are there which is not in our hand so let's not just crib and cry about those things just be with your preparation do the best what you can do and eventually always keep the law of average in your mind if you if you target 10 interviews probably one or two interviews will definitely crack so that's the mantra you should always follow don't just the Yeah, I will sit for one interview, and the one interview I will, I will try to rip the best out of it. Eventually, that never work out. You should always target how to reach out the masses. Target to sit at least for ten interviews. Eventually, if you will sit for ten interviews, then at least if you have even a ten percent success rate, also things will work as a wonders for you. Wonderful. That's a great motivation. Whatever you said, Vakar, it's a motivation for me as well. Yeah, thank you so much. So as I said, there are two categories. First one, the Odin grad. Second one is there are many aspiring to join Odin school, but still having thoughts: should I, should I not? So what would you like to tell about these people? Should I be joining Odin school or not? What is your take on that? Yeah, they should. Uh, they should definitely join if they are serious about their career. Okay, because uh, I believe that is one of the best platform which I I. Because before joining even Odin, also I have actually done a lot of research and a lot of due diligence, due diligence from my side, and I found Odin as one of the most uh, best economically wise as well as the value which they put put on every student. Okay, and uh, the best thing uh, which is about their support system, as I already told uh, mentioned earlier, and uh, one more thing I will say, if anybody is having any doubt also. you can directly reach out to me because i believe i am i connected with every individual person no matter how how much i am busy so eventually there is a i always used to get 40 50 calls every day so i will try i i always try to give you certain identify certain gaps which you are going through and try to help in the best possible way so even if uh, anybody is having any doubt or something you can directly connect me on linkedin i will try to get the best what i can do from my side and i'm just a call away from you nothing else 
Great, great work. That will be of great help for the ones who are still aspiring. So that brings us to the end of this podcast, uh, Vakar. It was so much of insightful thoughts that you spoke about. Uh, it's going to be very inspiring for everybody who's watching. Thank you so much for being with us, and it was a pleasure having you here. Pleasure is mine, sir. And um, really, it's a great time with you. Okay, I really like uh, the time with you. Thank you. Thank you. Vakar. Thank you. Thank you.